Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about another example that is nothing but the stopwatch. So once, if I click the start button, the stopwatch should be run, and I want to change the label also. If you can click the start button, I have to make it as a stop. and if you click the stop button i have to make it as a start button i want to change the label uh, i will just want to toggle the label between start and top so start and the stop watch should run and if you can click the stop and it has to stop and reset means it has to come from starting guys this is the functionality we are going to implement it let us go for the action now so let me take a div here this is the small uh, skeleton i prepared here uh, let us take a div with the class uh, something called stop watch Just I'm taking the div. If you want, we can design it. Otherwise, you can leave it. Let us take a H1 tag here. This H1 tag is going to. Uh, I just want to keep here four span tags. Span and everything should contain zero zero initially. This is going to be zero zero. And let us take the same one two three four. And everything should ends with uh, like this colon. And I'm keeping everything in the thing guys so let us run the output of it first of all and if we required we can design it also this is what and at the end of it we need two buttons also one is a start button and one more is reset button and let us say let us take the same guys for every span i want to take an id whatever the time we are calculating the time should be appended on the same guys i mean i just want to append to this span tag there is a reason i just want to take an id for this for every uh, span let us take an id here id equal to something first i want to display hour sum this is going to be hours and the second one is going to be minutes minutes and third one is going to be seconds and the last one is going to be milliseconds let us write the variable something called millisecond this is these are the ids whatever we are calculating these though those values we have to append to this do that's why i'm taking some id so let us have two more buttons here one is start button and one more is reset button so button 1 for uh, start initially the label of the button is going to be uh, start button later we will change it once the once you click on the thing we will change it right this is id is going to be start and on click this i need to do something S start and stop let me write one function for this this is a function is going to be called and one more is going to be a reset button let us go with the reset reset and i don't want to do anything just write a one method called reset method right once you click on it it has to call this method in this method we will just reset the time from everything else is going to be 0 0 that's it and this is what exactly our action is going to be done now right so when the user clicks on it so this function should be called right let us go with here function s t a r t start s t o p start stop in this function we need to calculate so but before going to this section let me take some variables it is very important we have to take some variables uh, all the variables nothing but hours variable minutes variable seconds variable milliseconds variable i will let me assign a value zero for all the variables commonly right here can you see i have some variables guys here millisecond zero and var seconds is zero and min minutes are zero and hours are zero like this so initially we have to append this value when you click this start and stop button we have to calculate plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 we have to increment it we are going to write a small logic for it let us see how can we write this small logic and moreover this function should be called for every 10 milliseconds i mean then only the time will look like a running mode right let us do the same guys so let us write a small logic for this here i just want to write what is my variable this is the variable i taken na huh? okay no worries take the same variable uh, millisecond equal to i want to pre increment it millisecond now i want it a small condition why because i will call this function for every 10 milliseconds though value is going to be incremented up to 100 milliseconds i want to reset it so let us write a small condition so it is going to be uh, easy for us if millisecond 
sorry what is a variable here millisecond right this is a variable you have so this is id we taken something like this and don't forget this this is going to be id millisecond right this is the id and this is a variable variable could be anything that is our choice here or else you want to go with the same millisecond without having any confusion let us go with the millisecond and here is also variable is millisecond so don't need to confuse here right so millisecond equal to equal to exactly 100 i mean the value is incrementing right anyhow we will call this function later i will show you how can we call the function for every 10 seconds or 10 milliseconds with the set interval of time so if this is okay if at this time what i want to do here nothing guys just reset the millisecond value millisecond equal to zero i want to come from start and moreover i want to increment the seconds equal to you just make it as a plus plus sec i want to increment see when the milli one millisecond completed that is nothing but one second is completed second millisecond completed the second value is going to be incremented for every iteration so if millisecond value is 100 then i am going to reset it as a zero and i am incrementing the session repeat the same for for example what i am saying here if we can write something called min equal to uh, for, sorry seconds we have to go with right seconds equal to equal to 60 for example if the seconds are 60 then one minute is completed right then what i want to do here sec equal to zero it is going to be zero and uh, we have to make it as min plus plus min equal to plus plus min i mean if one minute one second is uh, 60 seconds are completed then what is going to happen one minute is done right that's why i am taking the same here i want to write one more logic guys here this is going to be if min equal to equal to 60 then what is the meaning of it one hour is completed right so then i want to just write here min equal to zero i am resetting the value for every uh, if it is completed min equal to something and it is going to be our na so our equal to we can just write our plus plus h o u r our plus plus that's it this is the task okay na? right so our plus plus uh, oh sorry this is you can go with the pre increment here so because we already assigned some value to it right so zero so i'm going to pre-increment for everything right now what are all the values we calculated here so but this function should be called into a set interval so you will understand just give me a minute here so that you will exactly understand how it is going to work guys now i want to append all these information seconds milliseconds minutes hours to this uh, spans we have some ids now so let us get all the fields here so document dot get element by id document dot get element by id id yeah so this is our hours id hours h o u r s hours dot inner html equal to hours h o u r s hours L like this let us repeat the same for all the things I just copy paste all the dues guys here. This is get element by ID milliseconds, seconds and minutes. We are all getting and we are just binding the information to it. And let us go and check it guys first of all. And let us click the start button. If you can click the start button, do you see this is going to come like this object of HTML span element. Let me check it. This is not inner HTML is not added for something. So let me check the same. I mean, is there any spell mistake in the IDs here? minutes and my nuts hours and millisecond right the same we copied right minutes seconds and millisec uh, what is the variable we have millisec is the variable and same we are appended to it get element by id millisec let us check this is the error only i think so millisec proper right so what is the problem then html span element so millisecond is added hours is not added guys that is not millisecond actually hours we need to check it so this is hours not our summer h o u r hour only right that is a variable we have our variable and refresh it now you can check it and start and this is going to be one now 
and moreover and it has to run right continuously it has to run now what we need to do whatever the functionality we written here this functionality needs to call by using set interval method so value will incremented every time right you have to call plus one plus one plus one it will be incremented so minutes value will be milliseconds and seconds and as well as minutes is going to be incremented let me keep this into a set interval method guys let me keep the logic whatever the logic i written here let me keep this logic into a separate function that function i will call here do one thing create one more function called timer or whatever it may be timer function and keep the logic whatever you written here that's it right keep the logic here inside of the thing now what i want to do i want to call this function here for example let us take a variable where x equal to set interval interval in this interval i just want to call the timer function for every 10 milliseconds that's it now you can see and it is going to be look like a running mode let us refresh it same and check it carefully and check it now you can see this is running the value is incrementing seconds this is millisecond 100 milliseconds value is going to be reset again and seconds are incrementing so this is what but i want to get some leading zeros for example if you can see reset now can you see uh, reset functionality not implemented right okay click on it now if you can start button here i want to get 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 something like this but this is coming let me add leading zeros for minutes also for hours also right so what i want to do if the time is i mean if the uh, number incrementing right if it is below 10 i want to add leading zero if it is above 10 i don't want to add leading zero for this let me take a small variable and let us do the same action so now go to your code here in this let me take some more variables here so why because this i need to process it right so this should be processed milliseconds should be processed and seconds should be processed and hours should be processed <coughs> with the leading zeros right let us add the leading zeros also to process the leading zeros i am taking some variables guys here uh, something like these are the variables I'm just taking here milli uh, out and uh, so these are the thing so initially these values are zero and uh, why I am taking these values I will explain you in a minute please so for every value see here these seconds should be processed with the leading zeros right let us take a variable m i l l i milli o u t equal to check timer or whatever it may be check uh, seconds or minutes whatever it may be so in this you can just pass millisecond millisecond sec that's enough in the same manner i have to process what this method will do you know this method will add the leading zeros that's why i'm taking this and i'm keeping them into a variable this is going to be second seconds output this is going to be seconds output and let us take a, this is nothing but your seconds sec these are the seconds you have let us go with the min out this is going to be min output and this is going to be just min and this is our right h4 you are our out our output and this is going to be our hour h o u r hour whatever the values you are calculating we are just passing them into this method so what this will do this check timer method needs to append this so a leading zero so now what i want to do let us remove these variables here let us write this as a milli out and i'm just changing so after that append after that calculation value should be come here right this is going to be second out second out and this is going to be minutes output I'm just changing so what is these variables are containing time with leading zeros that's why I'm just taking this and now what we have to do we have to create that function what is the function check timer function with some parameter guys so let us write the same here one more function function check timer this is going to have some value right that value based on that value we have to process the logic guys <coughs> you can take some variable whatever it may be you can take any other variable here no i am just taking the variable i here write a small condition here if i less than 10 if it is less than 10 i value is less than 10 i just want to return 0 plus i otherwise i just want to return it 
so if it is not there just i want to return i i mean if it is uh, something i mean it is more than 10 i don't want to do anything just i want to do something like this it is going to be append 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 i mean 0 1 0 2 0 3 0, something like this right let me refresh the same here and let me check it this is what our output is there earlier let us see whether we are having time with leading zeros or not can you see now so this is uh, seconds yes we are having leading zeros now zero one earlier it is not there if i am not applying this function then so what is going to happen now just i take in a variable again so this is with milli uh, out milli seconds out something like this for just adding leading zeros only right leading zeros only and i am passing this every this is the calculated value that calculated value i am passing to check timer it will check if the number is below 10 it will add uh, zero if it is other than this it is going to continue guys anyhow after 10 it is going to be two digit right so we don't want to do anything now the next thing is here is going to be when a user clicks this start button we have to change the value of it right let me take a uh, see here is the start button when the timer starts for example it is zero if it is started then i want to make it a stop if you can click the stop button it has to be stopped guys let us do the same action how can first change the label start to stop and if it is a stop and we have to make it a start something like this change the label then we can go for the same action guys let us see the same how can we change the value here for this i'm taking one variable one more variable where initially value is zero start stop whatever it may be some variable you are taking so based on this value we need to check it so let us check the same guys here when the user clicks this uh, start button we have to change the label right and it is firing this function here i just want to write one small logic here uh, let us go with uh, ss equal to ss plus one I mean, if it is a plus one, immediately the label should be changed, guys. I want to write if SS equal to equal to one exactly. I mean, initial SS value is zero. We are just incrementing it. So it is SS equal to then what I want to do. I want to make the label as a stop. So else I want to make the label as a something called start, right? This is what I want to do. Let us get the thing document dot get element by ID. What is the button ID here? Start. So dot inner HTML equal to inner HTML equal to just I want to make it as the label as stop stop stop. This is the label is going to be stop now. So and moreover in the same else block this label should be and this is going to be start start. But in this situation remember carefully if you are coming to this here I want to make it ss equal to zero this is what you have to make it and moreover and if a user clicks a stop button so what we need to do i mean we are just changing a label only let me do one thing guys here whatever the function i written here this function i just want to keep inside of it i mean inside this uh, condition i mean so i mean what i want to say you can check it right now whether the label is changing or not let us see the label is changing if you can click one more time this label is uh, the label is toggling right so this is what exactly so start and stop is working but if it is uh, right now it is started right just this is the action let us see first of all and this is the thing start if you can click this it is starting okay when you are clicking this stop then immediately i need to stop it now so let us see how can we stop the timer guys here I mean what I want to do in place of it let me write a stop function this is a stop function and in place of it what we need to do we have to call this function guys what is this function okay let me do one thing here let me keep this into one more function the situation like this function start 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 and in this start function just you can keep this guys okay now what I want to do here I want to call the function call start function start 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 means this will be called if this is called this function is going to call this timer function for every 10 seconds okay let us run it whether it is working or not let us see and refresh it and check it now timer is working so when you hit the stop button let us see in the console definitely you may have an error maybe so i'm not getting error why because it is continuously going actually you will get this guys so i want to write the stop function also let me write a function called stop stop this is the function i'm just writing let me alert it for the confirmation whether it is calls or not hi just i'm calling the hi function maybe we may get alert or not i don't know because it is going to set interval method now it is going to call continuously right yes alert is coming fine 
right so okay now what what is the action of the stop function we have to stop the timer there itself guys let us stop the timer right where exactly the timer is if i click the stop button it has to stop there itself let us nothing guys in the stop function what we will do what is the interval we define just we will clear this interval so do one thing take this variable out of it so that it is going to be easy i mean it should be like a global variable then so you can define the variable on the top of it so it's better to keep the variable here global variable var x now the x is going to be cleared guys so it is nothing but it is calling for every interval now i just want to make it as a clear interval cl here so set interval and clear interval interval of x that's it now you can check it carefully so what is going to happen there let us run the same uh, this is stop working fine now i'm uh, now the stop label was changed now let us stop it it was stopped there guys if you can start again it has to start it is starting from there if you if we can click the reset then it has to come from uh, the time guys now you can see this is exactly 10 minutes something it is come right and refresh it 10 seconds i believe not 10 minutes and this is milliseconds and this is what uh, exactly seconds and this is what the minutes and this is the hours this is what we are saying now okay now right now if you can click the reset button i want to reset the timer and reset function is firing but that function was not defined let us go and define the reset function as well one more function reset In this reset function, what we need to do, nothing guys, we have to set every value as 0 here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, something like this, that's it, just you can go with the 0, 0, 0, 0, this is also going to be 0, 0, for everything I am just, just setting it as a 0, 0, reset in the sense, it has to come from scratch, that's why I am taking something like this, 0, 0, 0, 0, yes, everything should be zero zero guys this is nothing but the reset let me check now so what we did here the reset function i am just running the time okay if i reset then can you see oh it is not it is not resetting guys it is not working so what i need to do maybe yeah so i got the point here what are the variables we take in here milliseconds and all these variables are there now those variables also we need to reassign guys milliseconds is equal to zero i mean we have to set the value we have to stop it right so one minute let us go to the variable millisecond equal to zero in the same manner min equal to zero SEC equal to 0 and HOUR hour equal to 0. Let me try now. I am resetting the values here. Then I think so it will work for us, I believe. So let us refresh the page and let us start it. And it is working now. If I reset, it has to come. Yes. Do you see? Now the seconds are 3 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds. I am resetting. Now can you see the seconds are coming from 0, 1, 2, 3, something like that. This is reset. If we can stop it, it is going to work, guys. Nothing. So if we can reset the values here, then only uh, it is going to be stopped. The condition is going to be false here and it is going to be uh, thing. When you are resetting, when you are in the clear interval, what is the condition here? Milliseconds equal to equal to 100 false, na? so that won't execute it, guys. And finally, the values are going to be 0, 0, 0, 0 and everything will be 0, 0, something like that. That's why I reset the values here. See, once again, this may be look some confusion. I am changing the functions based on my requirement, right? Nothing. When you are clicking the function, I have to change the label that's why i already told you in the starting of the session that's why i written so initially i am just incrementing for changing the label only this condition is just for changing the label amma. so in this situation i have to start the thing just i'm incrementing the value here so based on that i'm just in changing initially ss value is zero ss value is zero just you are making this ss plus one i mean zero plus one nothing but zero plus one is going to be one one equal to equal to condition true i mean it has to start the timer right after that i'm changing the label also immediately i mean if we can click the uh, or i mean i mean if it is uh, one more time completed so then what is going to happen ss equal to zero i mean in the else block 
when you click the stop button again the same is going to be fired same function is going to fire uh, and by the time ss value is not uh, uh, one guys it is going to be else block is going to be executed here it is a zero and in the zero we are calling the stop function and we are changing the label also as a start that's the only thing and for the stop button we are clearing the interval for the start button we are setting the interval here start set interval of the timer function what this timer function is going to do this is the logic guys right just we taken some variables here to append the leading zeros that's it that's the only thing and i have a check timer method this will check the timer this will check the time if it is less than 10 it will add the leading zero if it is more than 10 it won't add the leading zero this is what and here every millisecond equal to equal to 100 then what we are doing here we are this is first we are incrementing it we are incrementing it so based on the incremented value so value 1 value 2 value 3 if 100 then i am making the seconds as incremented if seconds are 100 i am making 1 minute guys if minutes are 60 then i am making 1 hour such a manner so this is how and the same output we are uh, resetting to the spans nothing but so this is nothing but our stopwatch functionality guys let us go and check it yeah and i'm stopping it yes guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you all